Hey everybody, I'm here with Philly native Reed Dallas. What is going on? Well, you know I'm working, I'm trying to get some things popping. Got the new single with Swiss Beats. It's going to be real big. Oh shit, that's crazy. Why did you do that? Um, about a couple, like I said, about a month ago. We trying to get it together. Swizzy trying to come in on my project, so hopefully everything will be a good look. And how did that collaboration come about? Um, you know, well, um, his dad, Swiss Beats dad, TD, he used to manage Cassidy. So, you know, and you're on the Philly scene right now, and, you know, TD knew who I was, and he just knew I didn't have a proper management, and he was just like, yo, I want to work with Reed. So, right now, the management thing about to come in with TD, that's Swiss Beats dad, and Single with Swizzy. Wow, um, you've been doing this for a really long time. Like, how did you get started doing rap? I started off with like the battles. I was a battle cat, a real vicious uh, YouTube MySpace boy, and you know it grew, it grew. You know what I'm saying? I felt, I felt as though I had more potential to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just a battle rapper. You know what I mean? What do you think the difference is? Well, uh, the difference is the battle raps is, you know, guys just look at you for battling. An uh, artist is something like Beanie Siegel, Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that really can make songs and help bring the city back, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much what it is. So you would say it's more like writing? Right. Yeah, my writing abilities are crazy. I don't just want people to look at me for being a battle rapper, you know what I mean? How was growing up in Philly and your music? Um, just like every hood, I think it was hard. I think growing up in Philly is hard, just like every neighborhood. If you in the slums, it's going to be hard. What, what gets you in the zone when you're writing music? Well, you know, the things that I've been through, you know what I'm saying, um, it's really unexplainable. It's just like a big question mark there. It's just like, you know, when I do what I do, I just do what I do. It's magic. It just happens. Now let me ask you this, like, I know that when you're in the music industry, a lot of times it's a lot of ups and downs, but you really don't know where it's going to go, and it's always challenge after challenge. What do you think one of the biggest challenges that you face, like, trying to make it in the music industry? Staying real, you know what I'm saying? Because you can lose yourself. You can lose yourself in the industry. You can lose yourself in the industry, you know what I'm saying? So being real, being loyal to the people that you came up with and built it with, I think that's the hardest part. What else are you working on with yourself now, like other than this week's song that you told us about? Well, the album is done. I'm still handling like most of the business side of things. I'm trying to get that that right cosign to pop it off. You know what I'm saying? I'm signed with the independent label. We had the little video up on um, what is it called? Uh, Comcast on demand. But I'm trying to get that right stamp to get that thing popping off the way it's supposed to. Be. You know what I'm saying? So, um, how can people contact you or listen or buy your music? They can hit me on www.myspace.com backslash Reed Dollars Official. And for the ladies, you can hit me on www.myspace.com backslash Reed Dollars Ladies Only. Oh, stop. Look at that. So, I'm guessing that you're single. Yeah. Ladies only page and your wife or girlfriend doesn't know about that. I'm 22. I'm, I'm pretty much single. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Now let me ask you this. Like, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who's trying to make it? You got to stay sucker free. Humble. You stay humble and submissive and everything will be okay. It took me 13 years. I've been rapping since I was 10. I'm 22. I finally got a little name in the city. So, humbleness. Humble yourself. And where are we going to see Reed in five years from now? I'll be on top. Playing with that Monopoly money. Well, that's what's up. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you, baby. You too. So, you guys, make sure you check him out. You can check him out on his MySpace page. And if you like the music, buy it. Support. Go get that. Read Dallas. Especially all you people from Philly. Yeah, right? I do it for us.